We're starting on a blank screen in Design Space. There's no layers here on the side. I'm going to upload the image that I found on the internet. So right now there's no editing that's been done to this image. I'm going to click on complex and continue and I want to remove the white part of the image. So I don't want these pieces and then it'll be the same as your image but in two colors right now. Once I keep continuing it's going to do the same thing and give me a cut image all solid. So now we have the exact same thing on our canvas you and I. One image, one layer. So this image has a couple of different colors. We're looking to put the blue and the red in this image. So you can do one of two things to do this. You can either upload it two separate times. So when you uploaded that image, you can, if you're having a hard time with the contour button, upload it a second time, open it, do the same step. So complex, continue, and this time erase everything that's not blue. So you would just be opening the blue layer or saving the blue layer in this scenario. There's a little bit of red left in here. So if you click on this preview cut image up at the top, you'll see that there's no line left there anymore. So I'm going to continue and save just this blue layer. We'll do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to save just the red. So we're opening, selecting complex, erasing everything that's blue and white. So if you're having a hard time doing the contouring, this way will work. You can take that preview image up here just to see where the lines are left and erase them. This way I find is a little bit more time consuming, but if you're having a hard time using the features like contour, it is a way that you can remove it. If you have multiple <clears throat> colors, this way isn't ideal, just because you'd have to upload each color individually. So if it was like yellow, blue, red, green, it would take quite a bit of time uh, doing it this way. And then all these little pieces, every single time we're gonna go back and make sure that they're all removed. So now you have the two separate images. You can upload both and add them to the canvas. This way you would just have two separate layers. So this piece you could put red, this piece you could put blue. So if you're having a hard time doing it with contour, you can always upload the image twice and just upload a solid color. So all the blue first, all the red second. I prefer using the contour method. So I have the image uploaded all solid one color. Because the image has two colors, you're gonna need two layers. So on this image, we're gonna contour it to hide the cross. So you're clicking on the contour button with one single layer selected clicking on the cross to hide it. In this one, we're gonna click everything that's not the cross. So click on the contour button and then hide all the pieces one by one. You can also click them here on the side. All the pieces are triangles, so it's a little easier. And again, you would just change the color now to red, change the color to blue. 
Both methods work. If you're trying to get it perfectly centered, you can attach or select both the layers together. Use the align button, center it. Group is only a function on the canvas. If both layers are grouped, both will have the same size adjustment. So just double check to make sure the size is what you want. You don't want to attach this image. Once you attach it, it will go back to being one solid image. So you want to make sure you keep them separate layers.